Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm using, I've got a, a set of several different sizes of pry bars. And this is the smallest one here. I use that just to get a foothold in there without, with minimal damage. Tap that in there. And you see it start to loosen up. Tap that in like that. You see the whole thing starting to loosen now. You don't want to you don't want to rock it back too far because this narrow part will have a lot more force and start damaging the top, and you don't want to do that. <laughs> now this is going to be at risk of just snapping. That happens. It can happen. So, I mean, things can happen. You just get some wood glue or something. I mean, like, clamp it. <clears throat> now I'm going to use the medium size one to get a little bit more. Look at that. See that? It's okay. It's okay. Tucked under that corner. Not anymore. That can be glued easily. Is that the reason why we should get a clamp to that What I would use is a I've got a buffalo head vice grip and pull those brads out like that. That's the one thing I didn't bring. Do you have anything like that? No, vice grips, no. No, a vice, uh, vice, oh, vice, grip. vice grip. Now that that one piece is out, all the other ones are going to come out real easy because there's nothing else holding it in. Another thing to note too, this is not oak, so this is pine. Okay. Pine or a fir. And so it's gonna be a lot softer and more brittle. Gotcha. There's a third piece and the last one is easy. That's in there good. It is, it's gonna Easy. Oh, 
I'll see if they do some glazing. If they did, this window might give us no. Yeah. There it is. All right, kill the video. <laughs> so we got these brads. They're probably a newer. These are definitely put in with a nail gun. You can see the the opening is real wide from when that went in, and it's just a simple matter of that's it. Depending on the nail, it might be real tough to pull through because you got a piece of baseboard or some wind, uh, wood trim. You might be looking, or a windowsill for God's sake. You might be looking at huge six eight. 10 penny nails and those you have to you also have to put those in a vice uh, bench you know and, and I've got the buffalo head vice grips that the Teletron has those for about $19 and you just boop, rock back and that's that You always pull it out as it went in the same direction. Because if you do it otherwise, like start, if you take a hammer and start pounding them that way and take it out this way, you're going to rupture that whole smooth, you know. And ultimately, the goal is when you put the new nails in elsewhere on all the places, then you're just going to take some wood, putt, wood filler and just, whoosh, that's it. And then you sand that. And then that small little bit that's left after you sand it isn't even going to be noticeable. But you're not obviously going to re condition or do anything out of this. Down, Brody, settle down. Now, this, what I would do, we could put that back in place like that, and it would probably be just fine. But if it, if you know, we were my house and I had, you know, my wood glue, I would take a Q-tip and I would just get it in there, and I've got a, a clamp, and. When that holds tight like that, that'll be stronger than actually when it was original. That's what wood glue does. It's ama amazing. So simple, too. You know, and then after a little bit, boom, it's good as new. So, let's take a look at the glass. Um, okay, we kill that. All right, so basically then once the paint is in, you just slip these, uh, these stops back in place. That was easy. And then I I'm going to use the original holes because these nails are so small and you don't really have to bear any load or, or anything. So I'm just going to tap that sucker in. And now you can see, obviously, visibly, you can see the nail head there. So I'm going to use this nail set, which is a very, very small nail set. And I'm going to get that guy right on top. That's probably hard to see. But... sink it you make sure you don't go off the nail now it's down it's it's flush with the wood it's lower than the wood so there and then that'll be use wood filler on that I don't think we have to put another one in this one that's not going anywhere so I can do one here I already did one there yeah yep. mm -hmm. okay did I do no I didn't so we only have one here I mean there's three holes one two three so I guess we could do one more I know you're nervous about that glass, right? <laughs> you're cringing. <laughs> and then again, just sink it. You put a little bead of uh, <clears throat> bead of silicone adhesive in the groove earlier. We didn't film that, but that'll here, hear that. So that's not going to make any rattling noises when you get your hi-fi hi system thumping in here in your subs. I think you just need one up on here. I 
I just saw this whole thing just meet the sash, you know? Oh, yeah, sure. Like, it went up against it. It was already, you could see it just hanging down. I think the tension of being forced, how tight it is, was making that bow. So that did bring it up a little bit. Nail set. That's it. One more. These nails are, are tiny too. I wouldn't use them for anything but a piece. It's called wire brad. Punto de fierro. Two ounce. One inch by 18 gauge. So. Heard it. It's like finding it with that tile. I know. Tile's gonna be our next project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the glass clock. Oh, getting rid of the glass clock? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine the sun gushing through? I think we can. I think that's why we're talking about getting rid of it. Now, again, this, this wood is fir or pine. I think it's pine. So it's not being a hardwood, you really have to be careful when you get that hammerhead tapping that thing flush like that. You, you know, it'll dent so much easier with a soft wood like this. Where oak, you have a little bit more, a little bit more uh, breathing room if you hit it and you'll, you can still damage it, but oh, that's it.